Hey guys, Dre here. Welcome to another Fancy Made DIY tutorial and today I'm really excited to show you guys how you can create your very own fuzzy bra top that you can wear to any rave this music festival season, EDC if you're going, or even Burning Man, which I will be attending in a few months. So I ended up seeing a picture of something similar on Pinterest, so of course I had to recreate it for myself. I ended up finding the fabric at Joann's Fabric, so if you have one in your area, I just bought it maybe like two weeks ago, so they should still currently have it in stock. Otherwise, I would just go ahead and look at your local fabric store and hopefully they have something similar. They do sell these online. They were about 40 bucks or so, but I definitely wanted to take a stab at it. And I'm gonna be showing you how to create it using a recycled bikini top that you have hanging around and just how easy it is to put the little fabric over it, a little sew stitches and you're set to go. So you definitely don't need to have like sewing machine skills of any sort, really easy, really cheap. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Need the following materials for this tutorial. A quart of a yard of your furry fabric, a recycled bikini top of your choice, a few sheets of white paper, some few pins and a needle, a pair of scissors, a marker, some thread, and you're definitely gonna be needing no sew fabric glue along with the stop fraying glue that they sell at your local craft store. I purchased both of these at Joann's Fabric and that's about it. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is creating a pattern out of our bikini. So you want to lay down your paper and place a bikini over it and just trace it. And then write right front so you know which side you traced. Go ahead and cut it out. Then place it over the bikini top and make additional cuts to make it perfectly match. Um, and I would go ahead and leave a nice little pink border all around just for the look of it. But if you want it completely covered, that's completely up to you. Now I have my left and my right front and I'm gonna flip them over. Then I'm gonna write right back, left back. And this is so you guys don't forget. And as you can see here, my furry fabric is facing downwards. Make sure you do that. And I'm going to be going ahead and placing my stencils over that. Make sure it says left back, left right, then tracing them. And make sure they're lined up around the same line so that they come out sort of even. And again, I wrote there which side goes where so I don't get confused. Then I'm going to be simply cutting them out. And as you can see, it's starting to fray. This material will fray a lot. So this is where your fray, stop fraying glue will come in handy. So you want to take a good amount of that and place it all around the edges. It will get sticky. This will dry clear. But make sure that you do this. Otherwise, the material is going to get everywhere. So don't feel discouraged when it does. Place it all around on both sides and kind of give it a good 30 minutes to dry before continuing on. And now that I have both of the sides done, I let them dry. Then I'm going to be taking my fabric glue and adding a good amount of it on both sides. I'm gonna start off with my right side and I'm gonna place that right over the bikini, as you can see here, and it should fit perfectly in there. So just kind of push the edges in, make sure it's on there. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with the opposite side as well. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for about an hour to two hours. And once that's dry, I'm simply gonna be sewing it completely down. I do not recommend only doing the no sew fabric glue. This will come off. This is just kind of like an adhesive for the meantime. But when you get to the bottom of sewing it, make sure you put the push the furry things upward so that way you can really see what's going on. And just make sure that you sew it all the way around on both sides and this is what your final product should look like. And that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As you could see, it was super easy to make. Go ahead and make different colors. Use a template of other bikinis if you have. Just kind of play along with it. Another good thing about this tutorial is that you can use the template that I showed you how to create this and you can also cover it with other materials. It doesn't have to be like this furry fabric. You can use lace, you can use other fun fabrics to place over your existing bikini top and kind of make it your own. You can add patches, you can do whatever you want with it. So yeah, but if you guys like this tutorial, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you 
guys want to see anything in particular for me to recreate for music festival season, I love your suggestions. Leave them below, send me a message on Instagram or you can even tweet me. And if you guys want to check out some of my past work, you can do so by going to fancymade.com. I'm also on Instagram and Snapchat, it's at fancymade. And I will be seeing you guys in a few days with another tutorial. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm sending all of you lots of love and light and I will see you guys in the next one.